What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Today on the Craigslist Civic, we're doing another head gasket. So like I said before, we are doing another head gasket on this car. So um, the last time we did a head gasket, uh, I think I got a, a um, counterfeit part. So the problem we're having is we are pushing water under boost up into our coolant system. So it's not, and there's no mix of fluids, but we'll drain the oil and check that anyway. But there's no mix of fluids that I can tell, no milkshake, nothing like that. So on this particular teardown install, we're going to make it a couple part series. I'm going to try to get more of the step-by-step -step stuff to actually show you what I'm doing. Uh, I know, like, usually in my videos, I kind of just tear, in, tear ass into it, and I, I don't mean to do that, but, you know, once I get on to be on a move, I, uh, I just kind of do it. So uh, if I had somebody filming, it would be a different story. Uh, you know, so it, it is what it is. So let's tear into it. First thing we're going to do, we're going to disconnect this positive, or the uh, positive on the battery, or the negative, I mean. And uh, I'm going to really show you the nuances on how to pull this head off of here if you are working with a Honda, uh, specifically a single cam with air conditioning that is boosted. So, you know, we're going to do this step by step though. We're going to start, oh, uh, we're going to start here, power steering and then our air conditioner, and then air conditioning compressor, and then we're going to remove our wastegate. Uh, I'll talk about this later. We, I did have um, this manifold uh, fabricated. I did have uh, two, two 10 a inf, uh bungs welded in for crankcase pressure. And um, yeah, so with that being said, let's jump into it. All right, so first thing we're gonna do after we disconnect the battery is we're going to go ahead and drain all the fluid or antifreeze out of our radiator. And then we are going to, oh, I was inspecting, yeah, I have a funny story about that, and uh, start disconnecting a few other things, so yeah. So we drained the fluid out of the car, and uh, sorry if you're having trouble hearing me, but uh, I have a neighbor that, uh, you know, it's his full-time job to cut his grass. Like, seriously, a guy cuts his grass like four times a week. It's fucking insane. Um, so, fluid's out, or coolant's out, looks normal, um, nice and green, so that's a good sign. Um, next thing we're going to do, uh, bust these bolts loose on the wastegate. So we're going to get this off of here. So we can start getting out the power steering pump. We're gonna take the strut tower bar off, and then we are going to get this intake off of here. I'm gonna disconnect this, uh, these breather tubes. Yeah, and uh, little things like pull this, and then we're gonna try our same little trick again, where I'm gonna set the uh, set the engine at top dead center, and I'm gonna try and slide this belt off of here, and. Uh, yeah, let's go from there. All right, so got the power steering pump out. It's two bolts, one here, one here. Of course, we had to snake our dump pipe out, which I'll be happy to say will uh, definitely, definitely be um, different when I when we're all said and done because we are going to be relocating it. Uh, I do have a new manifold on the way, and it's going to be sitting right about here instead of right about here, and. We're gonna figure out a new way to reroute that thing. Hopefully it'll be easier to get on and off. So, while we're here, I'm gonna pull these vacuum lines. Ugh. And, uh, all right, so yeah. Once we did that, let's move on to getting this air conditioning condenser off. Okay, so, still need to get down to the AC compressor. All right, definitely need to do that, but I started disconnecting uh, air intake temperature sensor on the intake, the boost source to the boost solenoid off the manifold, brake boost cylinder, or brake booster, uh, MAF sensor, definitely throttle disconnected, have the vacuum line to the fuel pressure regulator disconnected. Um, you know, it's just 
basic common sense as far as stuff goes. Um, we are going to do, uh, we drained like before we drained the coolant, so now we're going to start doing our upper and lower radiator hoses. We're going to get all that disconnected. Just start disconnecting any sensor or any type of hose that's actually connected to this uh, intake manifold. We're going to pull this off as one piece. Uh, we're going to try and put it back on as one piece. I did that before. Uh, we're going to do it again just because I don't feel like fishing this thing out of here. So, yeah, let's see what we're at in a couple minutes. Okay, so, played around under here a little bit and got the downpipe disconnected, got the wideband sensor out. Um, yeah, we're gonna get we'll return out. Yeah, don't pay attention to that little. We're gonna take care of that little oil leakiness going on. Finally, we gotta get. Um, what are we gonna do here? Oh yeah, that's right. We got to uh, get this charge piping out of the way. And then my favorite part of the job is getting this downpipe off. And then hopefully this will be the last time this downpipe comes off. And then the real fun part, which is taking the turbo off. And then, uh, you know, it should be all smooth sailing from there. All right, so situation report. We got the uh, AC compressor up. And then we got the downpipe out. We are going to finish getting these little electricals, like uh, undoing the spark plugs. I mean, the, uh, yeah, well, spark plugs and distributor are going to come off. Uh, I want to mark that so I can put it right back where it's supposed to go for timing. And then we're going to finish with getting the rest of these little parts for the harness off, the fuel injectors. And then, uh, two fuel connections for the return and the feed and um yeah i'm gonna pop this valve cover off of here and get these head studs out and then hopefully we can lift this sucker out oh and then the bane of my existence getting this turbo off of here because that's going to be fun all right guys so where i'm at them right now i am pulling the head off itself i'm getting these arp head bolts off so I know I've explained this before when I took the engine apart when I initially got it, but I'm going to tell you again, when you, when you do take this off, you know, normally when you put it on, you start in the center and you work your way out. But when you're taking it off, you do want to start on the outside and work your way in, generally in a star pattern. So, like one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, excuse me, and then start in one, two, three, four, and then you would come back in one, two, all right? It's that simple, and uh, after this, yeah, the head'll be off. All right, guys, and probably the one lady that's watching this. So, got all the ARP studs off, got all the uh, the washers off. I slid the timing belt off like I did before. I marked it with the silver sharpie. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to slide it back on. If not, I'll set the timing. It's not a big deal. So. Next time you see this, uh, the head is going to be off. I'm going to take all this off as one unit, like I said. But uh, I have some new stuff coming. Um, I, that will be for the next video. And uh, we'll be putting that on. Hopefully it gets here uh, relatively soon. Uh, there's a back order so on certain stuff. But, you know, that's, that's the name of the game, waiting on parts. But if you're not waiting on parts, it means you're not getting the right ones. That's what an old head told me once, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, let's get this head off of here. Alright guys, so this is going to be the outro to this video. So to cut cap things off, we got the head off. Head is off for now. Um, I got a little oil down into the water jacket, but um, yeah, it's no big deal. It is what it is. Um, burning looks good in here thing is go over here to the actual head gasket itself and we find here is our blowout spots one here here and I believe they go down like this so that would be on cylinder 
one and two, no, yes, one and two, uh, and this is, it looks like from a, I, I don't know, this is a different spot than the last time, so I think this might be a counterfeit head gasket, because I never had this issue with the Felpro, the Felpro blew out in a different spot because of a rod lifting, but it looks like it was starting to work over here also, so... I think this head gasket was just not good. Um, so, in the next video, we'll be tearing the head apart. Uh, we'll be sending the head out to the machine shop, getting it decked, and then we're going to be putting it all back together. So that'll be fun. Um, until then, like, share, subscribe. Thanks, guys. Uh, drop a comment if you like. Um, and. Uh, Hope this helped you. Uh, I know it's been a while since I made a video. I apologize for that. Um, we're gonna try and get this turned around really quick because you know it's summer's coming and it's that time of the year and I want to be on the road. So love you guys and uh, like always, peace.